So I've got the majority of our curriculum down for this next semester. It'll be first grade for my older son and kindergarten for my younger. And I am following the Ambleside Online year one, 36 week schedule, um, Charlotte Mason. And the only thing I'm not going to be reading from their reading list, we'll do our own Bible. I will not be doing Just So Stories because we've done that already. And I kind of don't like them, to be honest with you. They're just so funny to read and hard to read. I'm not doing Paddle to the Sea because we've already done that. And it was a mission to get it because neither one of the local libraries had it. So they had to borrow it from another library. But it has left a great impression on them and they remember it and we talk about it all the time. So it's okay. But maybe in the future I'll, I'll get it again just for fun because it is fun to reread favorites. And I will not be reading Trial and Triumph because it's too too much for my children. Um, it is about um, martyrs. And I know there's more stuff on here. I love the 50 stories, re famous stories retold. I love an island story. I love Aesop's fables. Um, lots of poetry. Um, probably won't do James Harriet's treasury again because we've done that and it wasn't the coolest. Um, and I think that covers everything. And we're going to do all three of the biographies. I think it's Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and Buffalo Bill. We're also doing the Alpha Matthew C. We just finished today, the primer. And we're going on vacation in two days, and they have no idea. I'm surprising them. So when we get back, we're starting full throttle, um, everything. Reading, we're still doing Hooked on Phonics. I'm actually going to repeat the first grade level one with my younger son and move on um, with my older son to level two. Handwriting we do every day, reading out loud we do every day. Right now we're reading through Farmer Boy and Pilgrim's Progress and our goal over the next week while we're at the beach is to finish both of those books before I get back for school and then start pick up with the reading list. We listen to classical music all the time. I've shared that with you guys. I'm also adding um, scripture memorization, which I kind of got off the habit of doing. And I'm just going to do a weekly verse just to be easy on myself and still have them recite scripture regularly. So we're going through Acts right now. We're just going to stay going through Acts and then probably a gospel um, or and then or another um, an epistle. Um, and we're doing we're going to be adding Spanish and we're also going to be learning a mighty fortress is our God because I've already got the end of the year program all planned out. Um, and then that's the daily stuff, math, reading, reading out loud, classical music, handwriting, scripture, reading and singing, memorization verse and Spanish. That's going to be daily weekly. They're both getting guitar lessons from my mom and they're allowed to explore on the piano as long as they're playing with it correctly, not banging on it or fooling around. Um, then of course they they have access to my husband's drums, my husband's congas, um, the bongos, harmonica, I mean, tambourines, shakers, everything. So they get to make music, which is really fun. Then we'll be doing a weekly nature study, um, using our drawing journal. We'll probably go to a park or somewhere nice and like sit and observe things in nature and draw something together and then just observe and jot down the things that we see and like and want to talk about you know um reptiles is the animal for or the part of nature for this semester so we're doing reptiles but we're also getting ants for our ant farm so we'll definitely be learning about ants as well and i think we're going to learn a lot about yellow jackets since we just got attacked by them i think it would be a really interesting topic for them <laughs> we'll also do a weekly craft a weekly art study um which i just love getting books from the library on a particular artist um we got Van Gogh this week just to get them rec to recognize his paintings, you know, and I won't go into that much depth about him or his life or anything just because they're six and five, but you know, uh, a little bit just to familiarize him with it. And then on the Charlotte Mason, uh, website, there's artwork to look at all the time too, which is really cool. Yeah. Hold on just a second. We'll also be doing the biographies, which I already mentioned. Um, and then music composer studies. I'll do that once a week. 
we may stick, I think there's three composers or two composers for the whole term. So we won't have a new composer every week. Hey, 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 that's way too, don't interrupt me. That is way too loud. Please go that way. And then map timeline. So I printed out the timeline and I'm not going to put it on my room like I thought. It's just like two pages of the same dates and then you put it in a big notebook. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I think that I'm really going to enjoy that. <laughs> um, and I'm probably just going to do like three to five major events throughout history. But we're also doing a little co-op with a few friends that we're going to be covering American history and science so that'll be a great um secondary exposure for and, and just help for me too to have that co-op in place um and then we'll just keep drilling the map you know learning the states more being continuing to familiarize ourselves with the u.s and then we'll expound from there later poetry we're gonna all we're gonna learn a poem each this semester but we also read it every day and then drawing um, we'll probably have an art time. Um, so that is our semester. I also want to incorporate field trips to a farm, the theater, any concerts going around, um, any camping or hiking, you know, and then for the end of the year program, I'm going to have them each recite scripture together and individually. I'm going to have them each recite a poem. I would like them to make some sort of project that they can pr present and I'm going to let them choose the topic of their choice. So if it's on nature study or arts, whatever they want to present, and then they need to prepare something to explain what they made and why they made it. Um, share facts about uh, the composers we covered, the artists we covered, the nature study uh, units, and the biographies we covered. Um, we're going to sing A Mighty Fortress is Our God while I accompany them on the piano. And I would like them each to prepare a very small, you know, musical piece with their guitar or piano. And then I would like them to both share their favorite story and why it's their favorite. And I think that that's just really good practice for standing in front of people and speaking, you know, public speaking. And also just condensing like a summary of everything we did all year. And because I am the primary educator, my husband's at work all day. When he comes home, we're done. Um, I think it'll be great for him to see what they've learned and have, you know, them presented to their daddy. So that's my plan. Mom, 